Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to the War Camp. We're going to do a historic battle today. We've done all of them for Fall of the Samurai, but we still have two more for the original Shogun 2, and I hate leaving things incomplete. So, the two battles that we have left are, and forgive me if I butcher this name terribly, but we have the naval battle of Kizagabaguchi, as well as the defining battle of the Warring States period, Sekigahara. For Kizagabaguchi, it will uh, pit the Oda versus the Mori. Many of you who are interested in military history, especially Japanese military history, you know all about Oda Nobunaga. He was a genius. He was a very eccentric individual, often considered very flamboyant, uh, borderline rude uh, in the uh, eyes of his countrymen and the customs of the era, but brilliant on the battlefield. And so before we get started, we're going to talk just a little bit about uh, this battle. So there were actually two of these battles. Um, we This one focuses on the second battle, but there was a battle before this one in 1576. And uh, during that battle, Oda used his admiral, Yoshitaka Kuki. Uh, and what Oda was trying to do was trying, uh, he was trying to break a um, Ikoiki force near Osaka or just outside of Osaka. They were holed up inside of a fortress. Oda had laid siege, but the problem was is that the clans that didn't like Oda banded together and they were actually supplying the Ikoiki from the sea. And the clan that was providing the bulk of these resources were the Mori, who were excellent seamen, excellent in terms of naval warfare. So Oda organizes 300 ships approximately. We're not exactly sure of the exact number. Uh, and uh, he attacked even though he was outnumbered. It is estimated that the Mori fleet was some between six and eight hundred ships. And so Odunaba is completely defeated. His general, uh, I guess I should say admiral, uh, Yoshitaka was defeated. And um, two years later, with the siege still going on, Oda decides to try again. But because he's so smart, and because he's such a forward thinker, he's got a different idea. Rather than trying to attack with numbers, he builds these six, for lack of a better term, battleships. And he covers strategic parts of these ships with iron plating. So it could be said that these are the first ironclads, although unlike the original American ironclads invented during the Civil War, these were not completely covered in iron. Only strategic places that would protect gun crews. Uh, yes, both navies actually used guns and gunpowder during this battle, uh, which was a very new cutting edge technology for the Japanese at this time. And so with these six ships, he was able to break the Mori line at sea it was able to sink a couple of the ships and he was ultimately able to starve out the Ikoiki and win. Uh, Oda did not go on to become Lord of All Japan. Uh, he was assassinated by one of his generals. I could talk at great length about that and I, I just, you know, we're here to play a battle and uh, I don't want to bore any of you guys but needless to say Oda did not win. In this battle, interestingly enough, we get to play as the Mori and try and uh, reverse history, I guess you could say. So this battle can be considered alternate history. I have not played this just like I have with every other historic battle. I am playing it for the first time in front of you guys. I have not looked up any kind of strategies online or watched any kind of videos because that would, that would cheapen the experience. Uh, all of you that have watched my videos know I am not very good at naval combat. Uh, it's not my forte, especially in the original Shogun 2. So I don't know that we're going to win, <laughs> but we're going to do our best. So let's go ahead and get this party started. We're going to go ahead and put it on, well, it's on very hard. That's how we're going to play it. Uh, you can take a moment to read this if you want to. You can pause this video and read that. But it's basically uh, what I had already had talked about with just a little bit less detail. So we're going to start this. I believe there's an opening cinematic, like there are for most of the other ones. We'll watch that, and then we will see what we can do about uh, bringing about uh, victory.
This is the Kiz River in 1578. Two years after losing an earlier battle, Admiral Kuki Yoshitaka of the Oda clan has returned. His task is to break the supply lines to Ishiyama Honganji, the cathedral fortress under siege by Oda Nobunaga, his daimyo. Yoshitaka has come with six huge O Atakabune warships. Among the crew are many seasoned Machloka Ashigaru, survivors of the bloody battle here two years ago. The defending fleet is led by Murakami Takayoshi, a Mori admiral, more used to fighting with conventional ships. Although weaker, these ships are faster and more agile than the other vessels. They are the only hope for a Mori victory against the superior Oda force. The Oda fleet's overwhelming strength looks almost certain to defeat the Mori. <laughs> almost. Okay. Alright, so we got three ships that can use fire arrows, two medium bunes, two fire bombs, and two heavy bunes. Alright, so let's Looking at the map, we're going to try and use some of these islands as a choke point. I'm going to try and draw in just one of their ships for starters. Now it seems to me that these wooden ships, because I don't see any armor plating on them, but uh, I guess we can forgive the Total War team for not adding that little level of detail. Uh, so it looks like our bombs are going to be the most effective weapon we have. So what I have to do is I have to try and draw in some of these ships uh, one at a time to kind of even the odds for us. It's not going to be easy, but I think I can do it. I think I can draw one in. We're going to see. We have 37 minutes to do all this. So, while that seems like a lot of time, it really kind of is not. Let's see if I can draw in one of these ships. Yes! All right, now run. <laughs> run! Run, run, run. These ships need to get into position. All right, so we do have mines, as I said before, and that's what we're going to really have to use on this ship. If I can hit it with one or two mines, that should help us out a lot. All right, so we're going to drop a mine. And now we are going to stay on a path that will put the sh enemy ship on a collision with that mine. And if we can do that, well, I think we'll be in pretty good shape. Ah, 
Alright, come on, hit the mine. Be good. Yep, looks like they're on a collision course. Let's go ahead and speed this up just a bit. I want to make sure that they hit the mine. And we're going to deploy a second mine. Very nice. Not a lot of damage. But you know what? Every little bit helps. Alright, speed it up just a bit again. Come on, turn into the mine. Don't turn away from it. They may hit it. Oh, might be a near miss. Nope! Yes! Yes! All right. All right, so we got to stay away from their front because that's where all of their gunners are going to be, I believe. We're going to distract them with our heavy bune. Yep, and now we're going to swing around. All right, everybody fire. Battle speed, come on, turn around, hit them with your bombs. Come on, guys. Fire, fire, fire. Nice, they're wavering. One more good barrage should do it. Nice. Very nice indeed. Alright, let's go see if we can get another one. We got one straight in front of us. Sorry, I bumped my microphone a bit. Sorry about that. Damn allergies. Alright, so we're going to use our... Oh, nope, same one, because we have only one mine left. That's fine. Alright, we have 30 minutes. Let's try and drive this other ship towards us. So far, we're doing okay. Yes! All right, turn around, run, run, run. Bring it back with you. Our fast uh, rowing is going to allow us to go well ahead of the enemy and we'll be able to place another mine. We have 30 minutes. I would like to lure one more after this. After this one. If I do, I think our chance of destroying three enemy ships is uh, its a lot more likely. Alright, we're going to drop off a mine. We're just going to go straight and let the enemy hit it. Speed 
backed up just a bit. Yes, turn into the mine. That's what I want to see. Do a lot of damage, please. Not a lot of damage, but you know what? I'll take it. The only problem now is that all of our ships are clustered up. We gotta get that unclustered as fast as possible. Because we need to use our heavy bune to soak up damage. Again, we're going to avoid fire from the front. We'll let the heavy bune soak it up. Good, we've got their attention. How are we doing on time? 27 minutes. So far, so good. All their gunners seem to be occupied. Alright, come on, bombers. Throw those bombs. Not the kind of damage we needed. We're going to try and board the enemy ship. I don't want them escaping. Come on, bombers. Uh, we are just not doing the level of damage that we need. Oh, that's better. Ah, uh, we lost one of our heavy bunes, but so far... Yes, they're wavering. I think one more good. And they're on fire too. How are they not broken yet? Nice. Perfect. Alright, we're going to send out our fresh firebomb ship. We did lose one of our heavy bunes, but that's okay. We're going to move the battle a little bit closer. Alright, let's see if we can grab one more. And then we will attack the three remaining. The firebombs are definitely the key. Come on, boys. Move out into the open sea. Let's go. All right, good. We do have one in front that should be fairly easy to snag. We're going to speed it up just a little bit here. I hope our routing ship 
won't cause any kind of problems with us drawing the enemy in. Come on, let's go. Come after me. There we go, they're coming. All right, we're gonna turn. We're gonna row for our lives. How are we doing on time? 22 minutes. I think we're okay. Alright, we're going to drop off a mine. I want to drop off two mines. The thing is, is that we can't... I didn't drop off a mine. I thought I did. Shoot. There we go. Now I've dropped off a mine. Ship stop. Stop, 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 stop. Hopefully this, this ship will hit the mine. We can only hope. Oh no, it's turning away. No, 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 turn. Turn back around. Damn. Damn. Row faster. Yeah, they're not going to hit the mine. That's okay. Oh, they did hit the mine. Didn't cause much in the way of damage, but at least they hit it. All right, bombers, let's do it. And these ships can certainly take a hit. It's like they're scrambling to put out the fire. Our right, ships pursue. All ships pursue, I guess. Oh, they're wavering. That's good news. Get closer. Hit them point blank. Oh, no damage there. 
Uh, but their ship is definitely ablaze. This is not good for them. Yes! We have knocked out another enemy ship. Let's draw on another one. We have 17 minutes. I think we can take in another one. Right, we still have two mines left on this one ship. That's good. Speed it up just a bit. All right, we're going to sneak around to the side. We're definitely going to try and draw this guy in. And we got him. Yes. All right, get out of there. Fast rowing. Turn, turn, turn. I do not want you getting shot by their guns. Uh-oh. All three of them are coming now. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be it. This is it. A rough battle ahead. Alright, so I think I will try and have my Heavy Bune board one of theirs and use my fire bombs to knock out the other two. Hopefully, this will give me success. we got to get into a better position before we drop our mines. I don't want to drop the two mines too close together because that will cause them to both go off at the same time. Got to be very patient. Alright, we're going to drop our first mine. And I think this is a safe distance to drop the second mine. Alright, let's get out of there. This is it. The final battle. Come on, mines. We need you. So far, so good. Speed it up just a little bit. First mine went off. Lovely. Not much in the way of damage at all. That's a shame. Where's my other mine? Oh, there it is. Okay, so it should hit the other ship. more damage.
Oh, we got a ship coming in right ahead of us. We're going to have to turn away. Alright, Heavy Bune, go ahead and board that enemy ship. War cry. So far, so good. All right, turn around, turn around, turn around. Come on, fire bombs, get out of there. We're going to make one of these ships go down at least. Come on, fire bombs. Yes, we routed it. We need to hit that other boon, eh? Or uh, enemy ship, rather. It doesn't look like it can really move, so that's good. We're going to get right up on it. All right, ship, you know what to do. Bomb the hell out of them. Are we stuck? Can we not use our bombs? There we go. Alright, ships get out of there. Run. It is wavering. Alright, we're going to focus on that last ship. Yes! We're down to one ship. I think we can do this, guys. I think we got this. We're going to use fire arrows. Yes. Set the ship on fire. Yes. <laughs> Whew. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got it. That was tough. Give me a land battle any day. You know what? I'll take costly victory. I will take it. I'm sure there are some people out there that can do even better. But you know what? A victory is a victory. We sunk all of their ships, and we still kept four of ours. So, nice. Alright guys, so uh, for those of you that may be playing this game as well, that uh, maybe they struggled with this battle, because I honestly think that was the hardest one of all of the historic battles i fought so far. Uh, but anyway, that's a way to do it. I know it's kind of cheesy, we're luring the enemy in one at a time, but you know what, all's fair in love and war. So, uh, and we still barely won. Um... You can try that strategy, I guess, and if you make any, if you do anything better that's even more effective, let me know in the comments. Uh, I would love to try your strategy. So next time we will pick up with the Battle of Sekigahara. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support. Please hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you next time.